Alright, good evening everyone. Uh, I was going to do another painting video, but I thought, you know what, I've done enough of those for the moment, so I'm going to do something different. Uh, today I'm going to go through the things that I find terrible about the Pokemon GTS. So for those of you who don't know, a uh, feature of Pokemon games since I believe when the DS came out and wireless capabilities were introduced to it, was this GTS, which stands for the Global Trade Station. Now, what the Global Trade Station allows you to do is to, as you can see here, seek for Pokemon that you wish to wish to trade for, and deposit Pokemon, and request a Pokemon be traded. Now, previously, in previous years, oh, I should say, in previous iterations of the game, sorry about the camera, but uh, I'm actually holding it. I don't, my camera stand can't actually get down low enough to do this video. So I'm just going to try holding it. Um, so, yeah, previous iterations of the game, the trade station would slowly but surely evolve into situations where you would have people asking for impossible scenarios. So if you wanted a, a, a Pokemon, you know, and you weren't searching for it, you would often find that people have it, have Pokemon in there to trade to you, but you have to have a Pokemon which is literally impossible to get without hacking it into the game illegally, and then trading that. So, they fixed that up, that, that aspect of the uh, Global Trade Station up in X and Y. You now have to, um, you can't select uh, scenarios that are impossible, is my understanding. But I still have a major problem with it. So, I'm currently looking for an Eevee with its hidden ability, uh, I believe it's Anticipation. So, um, I don't have anyone with the Friend Safari with... Uh, with Eevee as a Pokemon that's available, because if the Friend Safari in X and Y, you can actually get Pokemon with their hidden abilities if you have them in your Friend Safari. But I don't have anybody with a normal type Safari with Eevees, in, uh, with Eevees, so I can't actually get one. So I thought I would try the Global Trade Station. So let's have a look and see, and this will be uh, the entire problem. So at the moment, I have the ability of selecting what Pokemon I want, what gender I want it to be, and what, le what level I would like it to be. Now this, first of all, completely cuts off any ability of me knowing what I'm going to get. So I can't search for something specific if I want something with its hidden ability. So, I've just done a search now for Eevees. So let's see, this person, uh, I can't... So this person has a level 1 Eevee. They want to trade for Wise Legendary. And I have no idea what this comment is. So I'm not going to, I wouldn't obviously get that one. So what does this one want? Again, a legendary. Now 5V, I'm going to assume that means that it's 5 IVs. Which is good, but again, so let's say I want to do that one. Alright, so it then takes me to the screen where I select the Pokemon that I want to trade. Well, I don't have the Evental in this game, so that's not going to work. So we can't do that one. Can't do that one. Can't do that one. Now again, these are Eevees. Reasonably, rel these are relatively easy to catch in the game, and uh, yeah, you can catch them in the game, and they're not hard to breed. So this one wants a Kyogre, which is a legendary from the third generation, which I believe you can only catch in the third game GBA games, and then have transfer in the bond. So this is actually quite a hard Pokemon to get. They want it for an Eevee. Again, I can't read what that says. So I have no idea what's going on with that. Uh, Mew. So asking for a Mew for an Eevee is ridiculous in my opinion because Mew is, in my in at least Australia, the hardest Pokemon to get. Xerneas. So here we go. This is a Pokemon which I actually have. So I go in and I want to trade. So if I go down to here... Now if I hit trade, I have here, it will trade away my Xerneas for the Eevee. Now I have no way of knowing if the Eevee has the ability I want, if it's going and if it's going to actually be what I'm looking for in this trade. And once I've traded it, I can't get it back. So I'm not going to do that because it's ridiculous. So, let's get out of this because I can't obviously search for it. So let's deposit and ask for a trade. So let's say, uh, I think a Fennekin is fine. I think I have a, a Delphox a in here. So, right. 
So there's a Delphox, so that's fine. Let's trade this. Now I've tried this several times before. What I've tried to do... So let's just deposit this Fennekin, right? Ah, uh, yes, that's fine. So I would like it, an Eevee. For this. So... Please. Okay. I can't enter that word. I can't enter anticipation. Okay. That's weird. Uh, hidden ability. Right. So let's just say that, that this is what I'm going to do. I'm not going to do this unless it's already done it for me. So what I would do now is it would come up with message hidden ability. Um, if somebody saw that and were like, oh, I need a Fennekin with a hidden ability, they could give me an Eevee with its standard abilities and I would lose the Fennekin with the special ability. Now, that's not a problem for me because I didn't, you know, I didn't actually do, I'm not going to make this trade, and that's not fair, I don't want someone to, in the event that the rare occurrence happen where I actually get what I'm looking for, I don't want to, I don't want someone to be left short, because I'm just doing something for demonstration purposes. So this is the thing, I've bred Eevees with Wish, and I've tried to trade them for um, the Grass Starter, what's his name, Chespin, with Bulletproof. And people have just taken the Eevees for a chest spin and not had the special ability on it. So this is the entire problem with the Global Trade Station. It is far too lax in the specification that you can do. You can't be specific enough to actually get exactly what you're looking for. So, I mean, I can turn off people who are looking for special Pokemon. So, well, I mean, that's... You know, not terribly useful. Does this mean that there's nothing with E? No, there we go. You're just going very slow. Alright, so let's try this. I've now turned off people who are seeking legendaries. Let's see how this goes. So, want to lick it tongue with Cloud9. Sylveon. Oshawott. Karandos. Now look, this... Person wants a shiny, which are, which are quite rare. Rare. Uh, if you don't have any uh, modifications, it's one. It's one in over five thousand. And this person wants uh, something that's one in five thousand for something you can get for relatively e with relative ease. And that person wants a Combuskin. Uh, that person wants a level one Magmi. Now that's quite a fair trade. Lifehard. So as you can see from going through these, these people don't have any. So here's one. All right. So this person wants a Squirtle with level. That's level 1 to 10, but, and they're claiming that this has 6 IVs, which means that every single one of its stats are going to be maxed out. But, I have no way of knowing if that's the truth, and I have no way of knowing if that's what they want, if that's what they've got, and what ability it's got. So again, this really needs to be better, to be perfectly honest. This needs to be... There needs to be a way to refine what you're looking for, or to at least see the summary of the Pokemon that you're getting before you trade. Anyway, that's enough of me complaining about how crap this is. Uh, but, see, so, th oh, that's a special, I this is a special Pokemon. Anyway, uh, I'm going to leave it there. Um, I hope you, yeah, so leave a comment if you've had this problem, if there are any other ways you can think of fixing the GTS. Uh, and in, until next time, enjoy your day.